Yeah, what up guys? Welcome back again to my channel, Steel Boy Prince TV. If you have not subscribed to this our channel, please do us a favor by subscribing so that anytime we upload our video, you will always be the first one to know what our video is all about. Don't forget in this platform, we talk about document issue and migrant issue. We give you updates. Whatever is happening here in Italy, you can find it in this particular platform. Alright, quick quick. Yesterday, I made a live video trying to make you guys understand about the new decree for immigration, about the decree to the Securesa and everything. So, I decided to uh, specify some areas where you guys can really understand and everything here. And then we are going to read in details. You can follow us as well at the screen. You can see everything there. So, let's really see how it looks. It said here, Immigration Resident Permit and Reception, the news. The deal number 130 stroke 2020 introduced changes to resident permit procedure for refugee status registration in the registry of asylum seekers reception and integration you understand okay now so let's dive in deep inside he said here the decree law 21 october 2020 number 130 which in it, which entered into force on 22 October 2020 introduced multiple innovation in the field of immigration and international protection. You understand? All right. He said here, yeah, in particular, it contained urgent provision on immigration. You understand? All right. International and complementary protection amendment to articles 130 bs and 391 um, bs and then 391 tell and 50 558 of the criminal code as well as uh, measures regarding the uh, uh, prohibi prohibition of access to public establishment and then promises of uh, public uh, detention to combat the, um, the distorted use of the web and to regulate the national um, guarantor for the uh, right of person, the price of personal liberty. You understand? All right. So, guys, let me try to explain this place a little bit. So, this particular place now, I just read now, is still um, a kind of like making introduction on these um, articles how they amended everything so we are going to dive in, in deep so that you guys can really understand what they are trying to say in this um uh, you know the new decreto uh, di sicurezza all right he said that yeah, in this um uh, discussion we examine the changes made to a consolidated act on immigration the reception decree and the uh, regulation relating to uh, procedures for obtaining refugee status you understand all right okay he said here yeah. permit convertible into resident permit for work reasons you understand permit a uh, convertible into um, a resident permit for work reason first of all in act 5c cs d legislative 2 Eight six stroke nineteen ninety eight regarding the uh, revocation of the resident permit, the reference to compliance with the constitutional or international obligation of the Italian state is incented. You understand? So, uh, this particular place now, what they are trying to let us understand is that you know most of the documents which will be able to convert to a work reasons you understand so let's go forward he said here yeah, um uh, at uh, idl 130 stroke 2020 entitled provision regarding resident permits and then board controls provide for numerous cases in which some specific permits can be converted into resident permits for work reasons, you understand? Like I explained before. Okay, he said here, this uh, listing listing uh, was um, uh, introduced in Act 6 with the new uh, paragraph 1B, the legislative 20286, 
stroke 1998 all right he said the following permits are convertible so now guys here come about the documents that you can convert to a motive of work so now let's kick in now let's see this type of document that you can convert to a motive of work he said first here the number one document here is resident permit for special protection so you guys know like the humanitarian you understand it's not called special protection so this kind of uh, permit now you can convert it so he said here resident permit for special protection at 32 c3d legislative 25 barra do um, uh, 2008 with the um, uh, exemption of cases for which the uh, cause of deny and then um, uh, ex exclusion of uh, international protection have been applied have been applied you understand article 10 paragraph uh, do so you know everything they are stating here they will um, uh, put the articles where they took this law and then where they place this law so now first of all now you should know that you can convert your uh, special protection if they give you that special protection which replace the place of a uh, humanitarian document is convertible to work uh, reason then another document you can convert again based on this new law is resident permit due to disaster you understand then they put the article here 20 bs of legislative decree and then everything you understand so uh, i don't have to be reading these articles i think we'll be giving you the main point so that we not take much of our time here all right so the second permit you can convert is the resident permit due to a uh, disaster that is a calamita naturale you understand you can convert this permit to motive of work and then another one again is a resident permit for elective um, uh, residents yeah, elective uh, resident you can convert that one to to a motive of work then another one resident permit for um, uh, acquisition of citizenship or um, uh, stateless as per article at uh, 11c one letter and then presidential decree you know they just try to put their decree and everything except in case where the um, a foreigner was uh, previously in uh, permits, uh, pos uh, possession of a permit asylum request. So this kind of permit, you can uh, convert it to, you understand, resident permit for acquisition of citizenship, you understand, or statelessness, you understand, you can convert these permits to a motive of work as well. All right, so now let's go forward. He said, resident permit for sporting activity. So... For people who do sport, if you have resident permit for sporting activities, you can convert this one to, to a motive of uh, work. And then another one he said here, resident permit um, uh, artistic uh, work, you understand, artistic work, people who do artists, you can convert it to um, a work uh, permit. Then resident permit uh, religious uh, reasons, you understand, for your religious reason, if they give you this kind of permit, you can convert to work as well. Then resident permit for assistance to manure, you understand? So assistance to manure, you can convert to a work permit. So now, guys, let's dive into another stage again here. He said here, the Article 19 Legislative Decree Number 296 Stroke 1998 entitled prohibition of explosion and then reflorment reflorment you understand so when they talk about prohibition of explosion and reflorment you know when you go for commission then after maybe they gave negative many times and then you know this most of these questurers they will give a falling devia that is explosion so now this new law now is um, standing against that decree that states that you know you can have that falling devia so now they are they are abolishing that um uh, that um uh, particular decree that state that when you go for commission for many times then you not get this thing then they will give you explosion that is what this particular place is saying you can see it here it said the act 19 legislative decree number 296 stroke nine uh, stroke 1998 entitled prohibition on explosion and then reflorment you understand all right okay he said provision on variable categories the law in the uh, version prop to the amendment here prescribed the um, prohibition of explosion and the reflorment only in the events 
that the uh, repartition would uh, determine, you understand, for the person consigned. The risk of a torture, the new paragraph 1.1 .1 as uh, replaced by the DL 130-2020 extend the cases in which reformment, explosion or uh, extradition are prohibited. We yeah. have come to like in a kind of like cancel it, you understand? Okay, let's dive into another stage again because I'm trying to take uh, some important facts that uh, mainly consign with the Africans so that you guys can really understand what is inside this uh, decreto de sicurezza. All right, he said here, if there are reasonable grounds to believe that the person risk being subject to torture or inhuman or downgrading treatment in assessing this uh, reason, the existing the existence in the state of systematic and serious violations of human rights must uh, also be taken into account. So guys, here come that story I was hitting yesterday about this uh, humanitarian document and then this, uh, they, they, that they now uh, change to um, uh, protection especially, that is a uh, special protection. So now this particular paragraph I just read now is saying that, you know, if they check your case, that you are not qualified to have refugee status as an asylum political, that then they will check if going back to your country will state that you will face a downgrading or, hum or inhuman or torture for any reason, then you will be in a possession to have this protection, um, a special protection known as the humanitarian, you understand? All right, so that is what this particular place is trying to explain. That is what this particular place is trying to explain, guys. So that is it. Okay, let's kick into another uh, place again. He said, amendments to the reception decree, registry registration, at 3C to introduce change to the so-called reception decree, legislative decree number uh, 142 stroke uh, 2015. In particular, in compliance with the decision by the Constitutional Court ruling 186 stroke 2020, which had considered the exclusion from the registering of foreigners seeking asylum as a social uh, stigma, it's now provided. You understand? All right. So, guys, you know, um, the loss of Savini really uh, moved up immigrants not being able to assess uh, the anagraphy. So now, if you have your requested asylum, you can go and make your registration on the registering board of your commune, which is known as anagraphy, in order for you to have kata de identita and all those things. This is what this particular place is trying to say that you know, the new law have provided for immigrants who have requested asylum for them to be able to go and make their resident permits or kata de identita. You understand? All right. He said, reception and integration system at for deal um 130 stroke 2020 reform the reception system for application for international protection in particular it is expected that okay it is expected that okay that one the first assistance is carried out in gov uh, government center Subsequently, the reception is carried out within the um, limits of available uh, place, places in structure of the reception and integration system, you understand, managed by the local authorities. So guys, this particular place now is trying to explain to us that, you know, you know, they really make this promise already that, you know, the reception system, they will canvas everything, they will change everything. And then it will be operating by the local authority, that is the commune, you understand? So I think this one is very much important because, you know, now there are some people who have their private camp, you know, to go and make resident for you, they will not do it. They will be doing uh, this one of uh, Domincillo, Hospitalita, those kind of stuff. I think um, if they now allow um, uh, the... Uh, local um, authorities, which is the commune, to be assessing on immigration for um, a recession, a recession system, automatically everyone in camp will have resident. You understand? All right. He said the reception and the integration system provide first level service, first 
level service to which uh, applicants for international protection have access. You understand? He said, second, level service aim at integration to which the um, additional category of beneficiary have access. You understand? So, uh, in this place now, they are trying to explain to us, you know, these uh, local authorities, they will be the ones to be um, uh, assessing uh, this or reception system the way they are going to make it they will be the ones to be assessing uh, the reception system so guys this uh, decree to the security there are many articles inside there are many things inside as time goes on we'll be bringing everything one by one uh, as it may consign us you understand so if you have any question to ask based on this or uh, the story we just gave now if you have anything that is uh, relating to you that you have a question you can keep it at the comment section and then we will still follow up to be seeing the changes they are making and then we bring it to updates this is why i said subscribe to this channel so that anytime we upload our video you will always be the first one to get it and know what it's all about so guys you are going to stay blessed till next time again i be yours i remain your boy prince tv <laughs>